Hi, I'm Mira Bernstein, Occupational Therapist. Today we're going to be talking about the tactile system. So simply put, the tactile sense is our sense of touch. And we have receptors all over our skin as well as inside our mouths, which means our tactile system is constantly working and communicating with the other sensory systems and with our brain. The receptors allow us to feel a variety of sensations, including vibration, pain, light touch, deep pressure, all the different sensations you feel on your skin, as well as in your mouth. The tactile system is also designed to keep us safe, and we can sense if something is too hot or too cold, or if something is painful or threatening. In OT, we're mostly interested in the child's ability to process light touch and deep pressure. And we also use these tools to assist in regulation. So deep pressure in the form of weighted blankets or massage accesses the proprioceptive system and calms the nervous system down. Light touch is the opposite and is often the type of touch that will cause adverse reactions in kids. Now you may have heard the term tactile defensive. Simply, this is when a child can't tolerate or doesn't enjoy certain types of tactile stimulation. So they may avoid getting their face and hands messy or feel bothered by labels, seams and socks and grooming activities at home may be a big challenge. Tactile discrimination is the ability to identify objects based on touch and difficulties in this area may present as a child who struggles to plan their movements, has challenges with handwriting, has poor awareness that they are being touched or even give that big response if touched unexpectedly or bumped. Children who struggle in this area may play too roughly with their peers or may even avoid interacting with others altogether. Here are some nice activities to stimulate your child's tactile system. Sensory bins. We love sensory bins and you can fill a sensory bin with anything. Rice, beans, orbeez, jelly, water. Hide objects in the sensory bins to find. You can also add a blindfold to make it more difficult and include hands, feet or even the whole body which is nice to do in a sandpit. Light touch games. You can take a feather and experiment with tickling different parts of your body. You can lightly rub or wash in the bath with a sponge during bath time. A tactile wall is great for experiencing different tactile medium or tactile mats or a tactile path to walk along. And messy play is just the most fun of all of them to do. Get involved with shaving cream, mud, dough or finger painting. If you as a parent or teacher have concerns over your child's ability to process tactile input, please contact an OT for guidance.